Women love an alpha male that will put them in their place no matter what. Women adore an alpha male that will put them in their place no matter what. I'm going to give y'all a couple of scenarios on how girls was this high up on their ego. And without me being offensive, without me just uh, being an asshole, me just being an alpha male, genuine, telling them the truth, gang. I just broke like four girls' hearts today. That's the reason why I'm making this video. But it's a difference between intentionally trying to hurt a girl feelings and giving them a reality check because a lot of women in 2024 is delusional as fuck i'm talking about all the way delusional so you have to give them a reality check i call it a reality check and if you don't be an alpha male and check your woman sometimes she gonna end up slapping you or leaving your ass because you're not strong enough no woman in this earth or on this earth want a weak man. And if she do accept the weak man, it's only for his money or his assets or something. And she's cheating on him with an alpha male that'll tell her to shirt the fuck up. Now, let me tell y'all, I can tell y'all about four, five, six, seven, eight scenarios today, but I'm gonna give y'all three. If y'all want part two, y'all go ahead and spam the comment section, part two, part two. Part two, let me go ahead and make this real quick because get the bag, I try to tell y'all. I don't got time to spend on these hoes, but I'm going to make this video for the bag and to help you guys go get the bag and to help you guys out with these chicks. Now, all right, now let's get straight up into it. Chick number one, she's married and she hit me up this morning telling me that I don't pay her enough attention. When I say married, I mean happily married at home with the guy. He do all the cooking and providing. She sit back like a queen and still cheating on him. I told her something that was reality. It was realistic. I said, I'm not the guy that you supposed to be arguing with or trying to pick a fight with. I'm just the guy for some dick on the side. What you mean? You ain't say that at first. I said nothing at first. What I said was, I'm going to let you reach out to me instead of me reach out to you. It may seem like I'm not interested, but I don't want to mess up your marriage. You so mature for your age. I love that. I get it. I will reach out to you. I smashed her. The next day, she come at me talking some dumb stuff like I don't care about her. I haven't hit her up. I reminded her, didn't we just speak about I wasn't going to hit you up and you was going to feel this way? Now she all hurt and all broke up, but let your husband fix that. That's not my job. I am the cleanup man. I am the maintenance man. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to make me bring out my two microphones for too much game. I ain't lying. Chick number two, guys. Chick number two, when you put them in their place, this chick. She always complain. You can take her out to eat, she complain. She can take you out to eat, she complain. Uh, you can just fuck her and say, I love you. And she can say, I love you. You can send her home or you can go home. Every day, she's going to tell you, you don't love me. You don't care about me. You hate me. You got hoes. It's always something negative. I told that bitch, the next time you say something negative, I ain't going to fuck with you for a long time. She said something negative. I sent her some flowers, gang, and I sent her some type of exotic fruit called soursop. She was looking for it for years. Never could get it. She was so happy. Ten minutes after she got that fruit, she got those flowers, she wrote me and said, you ain't never done nothing for me. Man, I cut that bitch off for six, seven months. She hit me up probably the other day. She said, hey, can I come through your new spot? I said, of course you can come through my new spot. I figured she done caught her lesson by now. You know what I'm saying? Man, I go get the girl favorite drink, her favorite salad for her, And I'm really not even interested in her. But I'm like, whatever. She come through. We eat the salads. Me and her laugh. We had a good time. Soon as she left. 
before she got five minutes up the street, she wrote me and said, you don't really like me. You just faked all of that. Man, I cut the bitch off. She been hitting me up for four days straight since that day. She been texting me four days straight. I won't respond back because I don't block bitches. I like bitches to see what I'm doing. I like bitches to see that I'm shining. I like bitches to see that I got the bitches. I like the bitches to see that I'm still that nigga. So I don't do no blocking on social media, real life, nothing. I want you when you to call, you don't say he in his feelings. When a girl call you and you don't block them, they say he in his feelings. I don't have no feelings. I can see you calling, it won't bother me. I can see your text, it won't bother me and can still ignore you. So that's number two. If y'all want example number four, five, and six, y'all spam the comment section. Too much game part two. Too much game part two. But I'm going to give y'all one more just on top of that to give y'all game. All right. This girl don't know that I know that she got a whole nigga. See, a lot of girls like to cheat with out-of-town niggas. And I'm an out-of-town nigga. See, I was a local nigga, but see... To the girls at county I was in. But once I left that county, I'm an out of town nigga. And I done realized a lot of girls that wouldn't bite the bait then, they bite it now because they feel like they can't get in trouble. A lot of women got a secretive nigga somewhere at the house. He's somewhere close by. Somewhere, I promise you. He's somewhere. So anyway, this girl think I'm naive. This girl literally thinks that I don't know she got a man. I can tell by the way she want me. And the way she can't contact me that she got a man is obvious. So long story short, I gave her my number about four weeks ago. She said, I'm going to call you. She was a fan. I can't believe you hit me up. This is amazing. Probably like a week later, she hit me up. I ain't called you yet because my phone broke. I wrote, bet. She hit me up a week later. I'm still going to call you. It's going to be worth the wait. Bet. About a week later, she hit me up. I still haven't got a phone yet. Bitch, I don't care, but I see you posting all over social media. Bullshit. You ain't got no phone. So, I guess when she finally got a phone, or finally got free, she called me. Hey. I said, what's up? You don't know who this is. This blah, blah. Yeah, I can't believe it. How you know? Because I don't give out my number to everybody. Won't it worth you to cop? Listen, I got something going on. No, I'm up your way. I'm your dream girl, remember? You was my dream girl. I been over that four weeks ago. Really? Sweetheart, don't Juice got an expiration date? Don't Fool got an expiration date? That offer to take you on a date, that offer the wife you up with four weeks ago. I done moved on to better, man. And that's three ways I destroyed three girls' egos today. And they love it. Let me tell you how I know they love it. All three of them. Remember, it's been six today. Well, five or six. One of them, uh, I say she was genuinely checking on me. But maybe she won't. So I say five for sure, six maybe. But if y'all want those other three, spam the comment section. But like I said, girl number one. Girl number one that thinks she hot shit. Girl number one been blowing me up. Girl number two been blowing me up. Girl number three been blowing me up. These are girls that didn't pay me no mind when I paid them attention. The less attention I gave them, the more. Now that I don't give them no attention, they could care less about all the other guys giving them attention. They just focus on me and want my attention only because I'm not giving them any. Ladies love validation, especially from a man they like. They love it. A girl can sit there and play with you online and through a phone and y'all never can get up. And that's you if you play the sucker. I done had girls tell me, I done made my ex wait five years before we really met. Oh, I made him wait six months before we met. But I'm telling you, they'll meet a guy like me and I won't wait a day. The same girl y'all wait six months and five years on, I smash the same day I meet them. Don't y'all be no sucker for these hoes, cause gu guaranteed it's an alpha male blowing her back out. I guarantee that I bet everything on it. Don't be a sucker for nobody. I holler. Gang. Woohoo! 
Links are in the description. If you want to support, go get you a cup. Go get you a bag. For you can put a bag in a bag. How about this bag? Support. Links are in the description. What about a hoodie? What about a notepad? Support. Send me a picture. I post it on my IG. Support. Get a book. Get another book. I'm an entrepreneur. Support. Support. Many different options of merch. The links are below. They are in the description. They are below. They're easy to find. Support me. And I appreciate all the love and I'll support you back. Also, subscribe to my music channel. Like every video.